started, simply click on add tag and this brings up four different tab types. The first one is text and media tags and this is the most pow powerful one. To get started, you might want to add a title and you can add in some description text. This is the body of your text. You can also add in a call to action button. And here I might want to put the source of my information. Once you've added the URL, you can then edit the button text. I can also add other images or video, and this can even be a GIF or a short video clip. We find that adding a video can sometimes personalize the experience for your audience. Videos that are added into these tags Hello. also have in-tag video controls, which makes it really easy for simple instructions to be stopped and forwarded. You can also add in multiple images, videos, or GIFs. And these will play as a carousel in the tag. You can upload audio, MP3 files, or you can record your voice directly into the tag. Once ready, you'll see that you can change the icon. ThingLink provides over 300 different types of icons. You can also upload your own. And we've created a separate video to show you how to do this. When ready, click done and your tag is there Hello ready. Hello and welcome to... The body of this text also opens up into immersive reader for your viewers. This gives the option for text to speech. It can be translated into over 80 different languages. And you also have a picture dictionary which pops up to help your readers with any words they might not understand. The next tag I'm going to show you is the plain text label. This gives you the option to add in up to a um, hundred different characters. And you can also change the icon here into something else. The next tag I want to show you is how you can embed other different types of content this might be videos from YouTube or Vimeo. It might be maps. It might be presentations or suites of tools such as Office 365 tools or Google Workspace tools such as Forms. I'm going to show you how you can very simply add YouTube content by clicking the URL on the share option and adding this in. Here is my video and you can change the icon into something fitting. That's it. My thing link is ready and able to be shared. I might just want to check the settings. You can change the color scheme. You can disable the animation where these tags pulse to attract the viewer's attention. You might want to hide the logo or the VR viewing icon. You can also upload audio, which plays throughout the whole thing link. And click done. Here, you might want to check your privacy settings. And here I've selected public. The next tour tag um, option is the one that I want to show you. So I'm going to click on another thing link that I've created, which is the landing page for my mini trip to Arizona. Clicking the edit button brings up the same editor and I'm going to add in the tour tag. This links thing links together and remember you can mix and match and add in any type of 
Singlink media that you've created. Here I'm going to select my destination, which of course is my nice 360 experience. And I can add in a short text label I can also here add in a conditional transition. What this means is that you can add in questions which the viewer has to answer correctly in order to progress to that tour tag destination. This could be questions, it could be multiple choice questions. These can be really handy for things like breakout rooms. And I'm just gonna change my icon here to something more fitting. And there we have it, I'm ready to go. Done. I'm going to check the settings again and make sure that I have those set correctly and click done. My thing link is now ready to share. Again, I might want to check my privacy settings. And by hitting the share button, I have the option to embed this ThingLink tour into another website. I can also share the link and I can create a QR code. I can even publish directly to other social media platforms, including Microsoft Teams. And there we have it. Our ThingLink has been created.